The suspect in another murder, this time in Bay Manette, made his first appearance before a judge this afternoon. 29-year-old Tyler McCrindle turned himself in over the weekend for the shooting death last week of 22-year-old R.J. Daniels. WKRG News 5's Debbie Williams joining us live in Bay Minette and Debbie McCrindle in court today. More importantly, though, we learned what could have led up to this killing. Absolutely. The bond was set at $300,000 for McCrindle on this murder charge. Prosecutors did hint during that bond hearing of a possible motive, saying there was an altercation between the two men earlier this year, and they say there were two eyewitnesses who saw the whole thing. While Tyler McCrindle stood before a judge on a murder charge Monday afternoon, the family of R.J. Daniels was making funeral arrangements. R.J. was my heart. That was my favorite nephew. For his aunt Natasha Mims, it's still hard to believe. It's been a week for hell for me, because me and R.J. was like this. I mean, so close. Tuesday night, gunshots rang out in front of R.J.'s grandmother's house on West Ellis Street. Over the weekend, Tyler McCrindle turned himself in for the murder. He was a person of interest early in the investigation. Anger over RJ's murder runs deep. McCrindle, they say, should face more charges than just murder. He should have had more. He should have had more for the other two boys that was there with him. And the ones that inside the house, too. They could have been killed, too. He said he's going to kill all of them. Funeral services will be held this weekend for a young man who meant the world to those who loved him. He was a loving and caring person. If you needed him, he was there. If you call him, for, he's, he's always there for you. He's always there for his family. And now he's not because of somebody's stupidity. Now, if McCrindle is able to make that $300,000 bonds, there will be conditions for his release, including an ankle monitor house arrest. And the judge told him as for those two eyewitnesses, Stay away. Live on the Baldwin County Beat in Bay Manette, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.